Welcome back and thank you for joining me. Today I'm gonna resolve an issue with my Volvo 240. I have some steering issue. The outer tie rods are gone. They're loose on both sides, front, left and right. It's a pretty easy diagnostic. You just raise the front of the car, you wiggle the wheel and you're gonna feel it. So let me show you. So this is definitely loose and the car feels really uncomfortable when driving, especially going over uh, uneven road surface. So we're gonna take care of that. Let's begin by removing the underside splash guard here, a few 10 millimeter bolts. I'm gonna replace outer inner rods, including uh, the boots. Also, we'll replace the leaking pressure hose, the power steering pressure hose. Now, cleaning the threads may be unnecessary uh, effort here, but just to make sure it comes off nicely, I'm gonna clean it. It will take me extra two minutes to do. You don't have to. Also, to remind you, I'm not a professional mechanic and everything I do is my hobby, so please don't judge me. 18 millimeter socket. Next, I'm gonna use this special tool, which makes it really easy to remove the tie rod. Once it's out from the knuckle, we can check the inner one by trying to move it, and it's solid. It's solid, but it's still super loose at the same time. So I think it's just better to replace the whole set. Next, I don't know why I didn't use cutters here. I struggled to remove that uh, zip tie. We're gonna cut open the boot and it looks wet in my opinion. And now there was a big surprise. Just take a look at the amount of oil inside the boot. This was a big surprise and I started to really worry that the steering rack is leaking even though I haven't added any fluid whatsoever to the reservoir. So that was super weird. I guess it's been like this for many many years. The boot was really nicely sealed so it never leaked on the ground and again I haven't added any fluid whatsoever. So let's continue. Much easier to use some cutters on the other side. This boot also looks wet, but it's the pressure hose that's uh, slowly leaking. And on this side there is nothing in the boot, so that's a good sign. For some reason there was some tape uh, around the uh, rack where the boot sits. I don't know why it's there. Next comes the help of a pipe wrench. I have two sizes and it makes it super easy to remove. And to be honest, the Volvo 240 is super easy to work on. There is lots of room, 
Uh, it's really simple car in a way, so I really enjoy working on this car. This was just for fun to take a look at the steering rack in action. In the next screenshot, I'm going to show you how to tell if your rack is CAM or ZF. There is two types of racks. And as you can see on the left, I have a CAM rack since it has a small opening on the boot, the outer side. The ZF rack has a wide opening on the outer uh, boot. Let me show so you anyway, the kit that I got. Outer tie rods. numbers, inner tie rods, part number, now left, right, left boot, right boot is longer than the left shorter longer the boots also include uh, some metal clumps which are oem style and i actually have extra long boot so we'll see if i'm going to use the short one or install the long one now we'll begin the assembly of the outer and inner rod including the boot uh, this actually took me some time and of course this uh, must be taken for alignment immediately because I roughly uh, compared to the original uh, tie rod setup and uh, the vehicle was like completely, the steering was way off. So this is how it looks. Roughly I match the distance, but uh, I'm going to go for alignment as soon as possible. Installation is in reverse. Now, my plan here for the leak, as I've mentioned, I haven't added any oil all those years. So I suspect it's an old oil leak in the boot. I'm going to install a temporary uh, plastic zip tie. I'm going to drive the car for a month or two, open the zip tie and I'm going to check for any fluid in the boot. If everything is okay, I'm going to just reinstall the OEM metal clamp. So that's the plan. Tighten uh, with the same uh, pipe wrench, but you gotta be careful so you don't twist the metal shaft because you have a lot of force on the stool here. So I was really careful to make it nice and tight. My other plan is to add a little bit of uh, steering fluid the stop leak in the reservoir uh, just for the sake of it to see if it's gonna maybe help a little bit with the leak if there is any and I'll explain later what I did. So this would be my temporary zip tie. I have also cleaned the rack a little bit off camera. It was way worse than you can see right now. I didn't have any torque specs for the nut here. I'm just make, I'm gonna tighten it nice and tight to my feeling. This uh, counter nut is also gonna be hand tightened with some uh, adjustable wrench, which I did off camera.
I don't want to bore you here and copy paste on the driver's side same setup same zip tie everything looks good next we're gonna tackle the pressure hose so this is the pressure hose from rock auto gates i'm gonna include all the part numbers uh, in the description i've used a 12 volt pump to suck out the fluid as much as i can now we're gonna unscrew the pressure hose from the steering pump You can see clearly the sizes of the wrench I'm using here. And be prepared to catch some leaking steering fluid. Next, the pressure hose at the rack. There is a return line and a pressure line. This takes three quarter wrench. And also there is two gaskets um, that seal the connection here. Here comes the victim and it has an interesting magnet midway through the pipe, through the hose, I mean. So new compared to the old one, definitely this hose was leaking for quite a while considering how much gunk has accumulated over it. So I'm gonna take off the magnet, clean it well and transfer it to the new hose and uh, looks like this new hose is a little bit thinner so the magnet fits pretty loosely over this hose well it is what it is i'm just gonna reinstall it and let it live there comment below what this magnet is for on the pressure hose i want to hear your opinion The top part is tight, now to the bottom one, there is two copper washers that uh, go to the steering rack, one uh, on top of the hose, one at the bottom of the hose. I didn't use a torque wrench here, I just went uh, by feel and I overdid it. It was really easy to break this bolt, unfortunately. It broke in half the piece that's uh, in the rack actually uh, I was lucky it just came out uh, using my fingers and this bolt will set me back for at least a few days because none available locally so I had to call my uh, local Volvo dealer here thanks uh, to the parts department I got this bolt pretty quick and we're gonna install it and use an actual torque wrench so I don't break it again. So luckily it was available. 31 foot pound and uh, 15 foot pound for flare nut fittings. So I am uh, using here 30 foot pound of torque and the torque wrench just barely fits uh, on the bolt. Thank you. 
and again I'm gonna repeat myself such a pleasure to work on this Volvo everything is accessible next we're gonna swap the fluid I'm gonna disconnect the return line which is the smaller one the feed line is the bottom uh, wider thicker one and I had real trouble here getting off this uh, hose of the reservoir and I felt like I'm gonna break the reservoir nothing helped so what I decided is just to cut it off cut it away there is just enough length to reconnect it this was my uh, only solution because I didn't want to break the reservoir Finally, I managed to take it off. Next, just a regular automatic transmission fluid. I had uh, this bottle laying around for quite a while, so we're gonna fill it to the top, and the return hose will go into some kind of uh, uh, container. And I'm gonna turn the steering left and right until uh, I'm gonna see nice fresh fluid in the return line and I need to add fluid as it's being spilled out that's the procedure to flush the system Off camera I'm turning the steering lock to lock, left to right and as I pump the fluid out I check the level and add accordingly. I want to make sure that I don't run dry because then it's gonna take air into the system. Now my next step uh, was a mistake, so let me tell you a little bit more details about it. The power steering stop leak that I purchased uh, at Canadian Tire, I've added as per instructions a quarter of the bottle. I'm gonna tighten the return line. I've added that uh, fluid, this one, and you know my steering started acting very weird it's starting sticking and I thought to myself oh my god the steering rack is gonna go kaput so adding this fluid was a mistake uh, because uh, it, it almost ruined my rack coming back home after alignment I immediately flushed the system again with two liters of fresh ATF fluid just to get this uh, power steering leak out of the system and after a few days the rack returned to normal condition so again use it only if you have to because I had weird issues with that uh, product well job is complete new fluid is in the reservoir new steer and tie rods let's take a look uh, how it operates now because the alignment uh, is way off uh, when you turn to the left the car even uh, leans on the springs because probably the tie rods have different length as you can see here the car jumps um, I called a couple of shops and uh, Volvo was the one available the same day so I took it to them even though I had to pay a little bit more money for alignment which is not cheap here in Canada but they did a good job the steering is nice and straight the car feels nice and tight it drives straight 
really happy with the result saved a lot of money by doing this job myself here is a screen uh, a scanned uh, sheet from uh, the alignment as you can see now all in the green zone so thanks for watching like this video subscribe to the channel don't forget the notification bell and i'll see you next time guys bye bye